I'm talking about Devin Hester. Okay. Um, this is the year, that. right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, well, you, you tell me, is it? I don't know. I'm, you guys would know more than me. When you think that Devin Hester isn't a Hall of Famer yet, what is that? What is, how does that make well, you Well, I mean, he was he was, yeah, he right. was only one year out. So, I mean, just, just to be that where he was, I mean, that was amazing as it was. Yeah. Uh, from what I'm hearing, there's a lot of good things, a lot of good vibes out there. I mean, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that he gets in this year. When he does, I'll be there with him. I'll be there at that with him and hugging him and loving it up and crying just like he will be. What's your bond like? We're very close. We're very close. Um, obviously, I was on the staff that drafted him. And, and when we first drafted him, we drafted him too early. And everybody thought. And then after a while, it was like, hey, we had him too. We had him. So everybody was on board afterwards. But uh, I was there from the beginning, from 2006, and saw every return and uh, designed every return. But he ran them. I mean, he was. He made me great. He made me great. What made him? The best uh, uh, everything about him and, and really his personality, you know, his, his work ethic, uh, his strength, that's not something that people, you know, don't really, that's not the first thing you talk about is he used to break a lot of tackles. You know, he would, he could run through tackle, arm tackles for sure. Uh, his vision, like his anticipation, like he would be looking this way, his eyes would be here, but he, he felt the guy coming here and he, he knew exactly when to cut. To make that perfect cut to be able to uh, open himself up, um, you know, and then his, his obviously his hands, he's a good catcher of the ball, uh, great vision, um, just he had the total package, you know, and he was he was ahead of his time. Can I play devil's advocate? Sure. How did he not get in the Hall of Fame when he changed the freaking game? He did change the game. There's no question he changed the game. Uh, he he changed the game so much. Everybody had to have a returner. Number one, everybody had to have cover guys that could cover and tackle, and then the, the kickoff team had to change. You had you had guys playing kickoff that were big, couldn't move, you know, just straight ahead guys. You had to put more athletic guys on the kickoff team, and that was the end. That was the end. The O line, D line, playing playing those positions, and then then he also changed the wedge. You know, you, I mean, the wedge was a dangerous play, but having him back there with the wedge, I mean, that was it was unfair. How do you describe his impact on your career? Um, everything for me. I mean, you know, I, I design plays, but I mean, you have to have that guy. You know, he, he, players make coaches. You know, and, and then together we did we did a lot of great things at Chicago together. We had Tony Dungy on our show a couple weeks back, and he was talking about when he decided to kick off to Devin Owens. You know, what was what was your reaction when you saw all, were... all week long? All week long, we, you know, that was a big. Narrative. Oh, are they going to kick to him? Are they not? And every question, question was about that. And uh, and I told him Saturday night. I told the, him and the whole team. I said they're going to kick it to you because all those all those lights and everything. They're going to kick it right to you. I said they're not going to kick a touchback when all those lights are going. You know, all the cameras are going off. And sure enough, they kicked it right to him. And he made him pay. It was awesome. Still gives me goosebumps. When, when, he, when he eventually goes into Canton, whether it's this year or in the future, how would you describe his legacy? Uh, game changer. You know, he, he definitely changed the game on special teams, for sure. Uh, if you talk to any special teams coach right now, they'd, they'd point to him as the guy that changed it. Thank you, David. I'll give you a loaded question. Why aren't there more special teamers in all family? Hopefully there's going to be another one. That's what I'm getting at. Hopefully there's going to be another one. Uh, he, he definitely deserves it. Is he the most obvious special teams candidate? There's ever right been. now he is. Yeah. yeah, he's the most obvious for sure. He's, if he doesn't get in this year, he's got to get in the following year. You know, it's just a matter of time. I think this is his year, though. Is it, yes. Is it, um, is it because the impact is so easy for your average fan to see? Like, you know, we're not talking about... You know, punt average or you know, field goals or anything. Yeah, touchdowns, it's, it's, it's plain as day, right? You either get a touchdown or you don't. It was so exciting. I mean, the crowd, when he was back there, they were just chanting his name. He had a special song that we played. I mean, it was just, it was, it was crazy. When did you, was there a moment when you went from thinking, oh, this guy's special to this guy might be in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> I started thinking about the Hall of Fame probably like my last year there when he probably had about, uh, I think when I left, maybe 18 touchdowns. I said, that, you know, he's got Hall of Fame numbers. But then, you know, obviously, you know, he's, he's, you know being the record holder now, it's, he 
definitely deserves it, no question. He's a guy that's never been shy about saying out loud, I want to be in the Hall of Fame. Some guys don't do that. He does. He does. Was it hard last year to see him not get in that first time? I, I fell for him. You know, I, I talked to him afterwards, and it was it was hard because he was upset. But um, I just said, I, you know, I told him, it's just a matter of time, Kevin. And he knows that. It's easy for you to say, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it ironic though when he was a player, he wasn't one of wasn't a guy who talked. He, no, he, he was real quiet. Talker. No, he was real quiet. Um, everybody did the talking for him, you know, really when it came down to it. Um, and that, that's what was so special about him.